Hey, Vineyard family, it's Brian Brinkert here. Uh, this past weekend, we kicked off a brand new sermon series in the book of Philippians. And along with our weekend messages, uh, we're going to be uh, engaging with some devotional material throughout this series. Uh, so we started that off yesterday, uh, looking at uh, Philippians 1, verses 1 and 2. Uh, and then actually for the rest of this week, uh, we're going to be unpacking some different scriptures from the book of Acts that give some background uh, to how the church in Philippi uh, actually got started. And so as we begin today, I just encourage you to take a few moments to just quiet yourself before God, and let's open our hearts uh, to His Word. So we're going to be in Acts 16, uh, verses 6 through 12 today. Paul and his companions traveled through the region of Phrygia and Galatia, having been kept by the Holy Spirit from preaching the word in the province of Asia. When they came to the border of Mysia, they tried to enter Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus would not allow them to. And so they passed by Mysia and went down to Troas. During the night, Paul had a vision of a man from Macedonia standing and begging him, Come over to Macedonia and help us. After Paul had seen this vision, we got ready at once to leave for Macedonia, concluding that God had called us to preach the gospel to them. From Troas, we set out to sea and sailed straight for uh, Samothrace, and the next day we went on to Neapolis. Then we traveled to Philippi, a Roman colony and the leading city of that district of Macedonia, and we stayed there several days. Uh, so again, this is some background to how Paul and, and Luke, the writer of Acts, and some of those companions ended up in uh, the city of Philippi. Uh, here's a few questions that you can reflect on uh, as we get some of this background and think about what God might want to speak to us today. First one is this. Can you identify different ways that God speaks to you? Uh, in this passage, uh, Paul received a vision, uh, they were praying about direction, there was a lot of different ways uh, that they were trying to hear the voice of God. What does that look like for you? Um, what does it sound like to hear God's voice? Uh, what's it like uh, when God speaks to you? Secondly, has God ever put a roadblock in your path, preventing you from moving forward in a direction that you had planned? I mean, what was that experience like, and what did you learn about God uh, through that scenario? And then finally, Paul and his companions did a lot of traveling to spread the gospel, uh, sometimes with not a lot of resources. Uh, can you reflect on times in your life where God's maybe called you to take a risk that was outside of your comfort zone, or maybe even outside of your means? Um, you know, maybe what were ways that God met you in those times or what were questions that came up as you started to take those kinds of risks? So again, I uh, encourage you to sit with uh, this passage in Acts 16 a little bit, uh, pray into that, um, respond to God in some of the things that he's inviting you into. Um, and as you do that, man, I think just the Holy Spirit can bring such an amazing transformation to us uh, as we listen and we respond to him. We'll see you next time.